Welcome back guys to Mario Kart 7 Custom Tracks Grand Prix. Last time we took on the Leaf Cup and we got a mind-boggling one-star rank. Today we're going to be taking on the Final Cup, the Special Cup, or I guess the Lightning Cup. It's the Special on one end and the Lightning on the other. And today we are going to be playing is Gold Mario. So before we begin, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. And once again, let me know down in the comment section below if there are any more custom tracks that you would like to see from me, as well as custom characters, and I will definitely go ahead and do them. So what can we play with today? Uh, we don't have anything new unlocked. What, the arcade. The standard. Everything is gold for this guy. I guess we'll go with the arcade. Uh, we've never played with that before. I actually don't even know if this is a cart in the game or if it's a custom cart, to be honest with you guys, because I don't remember the carts in this game. But anyways, we have Coral Cape, which I don't know what that is, if it's Koopa Cape or not. Coral Cape, Elemental Cape, Airship Fortress, and Miku's Birthday Spec. All right, let's, that, sounds, that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. We have a three-star rank by default. I remember actually when I played this, like a very, very long time ago, I was bored and uh, I just went ahead and I started playing this. This was like back in 2014 because I have so many copies of this game, but this one specifically, I remember I did and I only did the 150 CCs tracks and I was going to do the mirror mode tracks, but then I never did them. Uh, whoa, am I flying? I feel like I'm floating, dude. It's probably the depth perception. This is it. Coral Cape. Are we going in the water? We are. I wonder how far you can go. Oh, I guess you just keep going deep and deep in the water and you'll be fine. And this is supposed to be the equivalent of Koopa Cape. So, oh, look at that. A shortcut. Well, I'll try to take you next time. Oh, it doesn't even look like it's a significant one. It just barely cuts you through. You know, and then they got to give you these uh, mushrooms. The mushroom board. Ooh. Dude, give me an item now. Dude, that was a clean turn. Wow, his drifting is awesome. I like it. I like this arcade car. Nice. Suck on that, Rosalina. That's what you get for trying to pass me. The gold man. Uh-oh. Dude, it's littering bananas out here. Every corner you go, there's a banana just somewhere. Uh-oh. 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 Come on, get away! Get off! Ah! Okay, we're good. I was panicking. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dude. I barely made that one. It's weird because when you time your jumps on them improperly, you actually screw up your momentum and then you can tend to fall. That happens to me all the time on Mushroom Gorge whenever I play that track. It's like sometimes you uh, have so much momentum that you over jump and you're just so far ahead on the mushroom that you end up not making it on a mushroom when you're bouncing. And sometimes you under jump and then there's always that, you know, balance in between, which some of us, oh, I think I under jumped. Yep. I almost barely didn't make that one. And we did it first place. I lapped Donkey Kong. And if I lapped DK, I also lapped Wiggler because Wiggler is eighth place in this. So I lapped Donkey Kong and I lapped Wiggler. Bowser also lapped both DK and Wiggler as well. So I'm surprised he's going to be the competition for this. He, he like played super well compared to the other computers. This is Elemental Cave. As you can see, it's pretty dark. I mean, there's barely any lights going on in here. It kind of looks like Hazy Maze Cave. Ooh, a little bit of lava. Is that what I see? Oh, and it shoots up too? It's erupting lava. Okay, let's see what this is about. It actually looks like Hazy Maze Cave, except with lava. It's like a gr oh gosh, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, they updated it on the map, which is very cool. I don't know why that is, but some tracks have the uh, the map updated and some of them don't. This one's being one of those tracks that has it, which actually makes it so much easier for me because I can just look at the map and play. Which is actually surprisingly pretty easy to do. I remember uh, if uh, at the beginning of this, uh, when the game came out, I actually used to do that all the time to figure out what the track layout was like before you know I eventually memorized them all. But it's a pretty easy way to do it. It's just obviously not as enjoyable because you're looking at a map and you can't see all the good, beautiful scenes around you. It's, or you could kind of glance at it like what I'm doing now. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, how am I in fifth place, dude? I feel like I'm playing a lot better than fifth. I deserve like a fourth. Okay, well, never mind. 
You don't get everything you want in life. And that's just something you gotta accept. Ooh! Uh, what was that, man? I have no idea what I did there or why I did that, but... That, that costed me the race. Fifth place is probably what I'm gonna end up settling for. Unless I can somehow manage to pass Peach. And then afterwards get a nice item. It's going to help me pass these three. Ooh, suck on that. Suck on that, Bowser. Oh my gosh, this is actually happening. Did you witness that? I had already set... Oh man, I, I, I helped myself up to get fifth place. And now I'm first place. And this is... I don't know how to feel about this. I have two red shells as well. Meaning that nobody could have passed me. Unless I had a lightning hit me and then a blue shell. And then some guy behind me hit me with like a red shell or something. Completely sabotaged me. Then yeah, I, I could totally see myself not winning there. But Airship Fortress for the DS. Um... This actually used to be one of my favorite tracks in this game, but not anymore. I was probably fascinated at the time just, you know, by this track because it was a DS track and it was obviously remastered and everything and it looks clean, but it's just a pretty basic track, nothing crazy about it. Uh, and, I've, and I've played it so many times as well. Oh my god. I think I actually did a comparison video of this track. Speaking of comparisons, I'm going to probably be doing those on my second channel. Well, I'm definitely going to be doing those on my second channel. Comparing, like, all the Mario Kart tracks that were uh, recreated for different Mario Kart games together with, like, the original. Which I think is really, really cool because it shows you, like, exactly how much they've changed the track and how original it stays. Uh, or how, how original it stayed over time. Uh, or how, I guess that's how I would put it how it stayed to its original form over time I guess and you could see the progression whether it's good for bad uh, or good or bad okay there we go first place I just need to stay like this man I get nervous dude because I, I feel like I'm just gonna screw up hardcore and then lose my position but I'm gonna try something different this time I'm just gonna mash out these turbo boosts as much as I can there we go very nice. Ooh, that was close. Almost got burnt there. Would have sucked. Ooh, very nice. All right, dude, we are on a roll here, dude. I am so far ahead of everybody else. Getting those red turbo boosts, man. You know, I guess it's okay to sometimes settle for the blue, but if you're getting them often, then yeah, you're gonna have a problem because that means you're not really doing them. Well. Okay. I guess the blue ones are good for those little short ones. But if you can make the red one, then obviously you should go for it. Like here, there's no excuse to not get a red one. And then here as well, no excuse to not get one. Woohoo! Get a long one, actually, at that. Extend it. Everybody now is on the map. Everybody caught up to me somehow. There's just no way for me to be able to lap people consecutively. It's only on certain courses. I always find it to be the tracks that are custom tracks. Like, it's, it's never a track that's like this. A track that's either from a Mario Kart game or in this game, where you can actually pass the computers um, and lap them. Because I had the same issue in Mario Kart Wii custom tracks, where in the custom tracks I was able to lap the players perfectly fine, but then when I played uh, any other track for that matter that was a part of the game or from a different Mario Kart game, it just never worked. The computers always knew what they were doing. So that was the third to last track. Now we have Miku's birthday spec. And this is the final track of the Lightning Cup. I don't know who Miku's is. But Miko's? Meet Miku? I don't know who that is. Maybe some anime guy, dude. Something, whatever. Maybe the person who made this track. I don't... Oh, it looks like anime. You know, I'm not the biggest uh, anime weeaboo. So, what is that? That's throwing me off, dude. Is it really gonna move with you the entire track? This literally looks like an anime. Mario Kart in anime form. Oh my god. What is this music? This is made for weebs, bro. Oh gosh. I don't know if I like this. It actually doesn't seem hard. It's just the, uh, 
the not knowing is what's throwing me off. Oh my gosh, those blimp size blow up dolls of those that character, I'm sure that's Miku. I'm gonna say that's Miku. You know, I'm gonna take that assumption and, and guess it's Miku because uh, she's littered everywhere. Wait, where am I? What the heck? Okay, this course is pretty cool. It's definitely very trippy, but it's pretty cool. Whoa, dude, how long is this? Okay. Oh! Why did you do that to me, Mario? I thought we had a good thing going on here. Wait, where am I going? Oh. And we did it. We passed the finish line. Alright, so yeah, this obviously was uh, a blast. In a, I guess, not so good way. Whoa. So I gotta just make sure that I stay on the straight path here. Ooh. Oh, wow, dude. Did you see that? Did you see those raw skills, man? Did you see those raw skills? Somebody's coming with a blue shell. 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 Oh! Dude, there has to be a way to dodge blue shells. Oh, my God. And, of course, this would happen. And the thing just closed on me. Are you serious? Well... I started recording this video like an hour ago and I was able to play through all of the cups surprisingly and I've had two technical glitches where the game froze on me well actually this one being the game froze and then it completely restarted but at least we were able to do one of the laps uh, to actually see what that track was about it was a pretty long course so I'm sure it would have taken us a little longer to actually beat that track but still we were, able show, we were able to show off one of the laps and that's all that really matters I guess so I guess that's going to be it for Mario Kart 7 custom tracks uh, thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed do not forget to drop a like and let me know down in the comment section below if there's anything else that you would like to see from me in regards to Mario Kart 7 custom tracks as far as I'm concerned I feel like I'm done because I don't want to deal with the game constantly restarting on me. I feel like it's not working properly enough in order for me to continue making videos on it. The only reason I committed to doing all of these was because I started it and I took breaks. And I just felt really bad for not completing it. You know, as I do with a lot of my projects here on the channel. That I felt like I had to at least finish this one for you guys. So, um, now that this is done and over with, I'm probably going to move on to something else, something that's more consistent, something that is more reliable to actually do as opposed to this, and uh, we'll see how things turn out. But nonetheless, I hope you guys still enjoyed this, and if you haven't checked out any of the other cups that, and you would like to see them, uh, link in the description to the playlist, make sure you check it out. There's a ton of different tracks that I thought were amazing in this little series that I did so make sure you check them out and if you remember off the top of your head or know off the top of your head what your favorite track is let me know down in the comment section below because I am intrigued to know what you guys' favorite tracks are from the Mario Kart 7 custom track series for me it would probably be that Dino GBA level that we played uh, I really like that track. I like it, like I said, all of the GBA levels. I just think it looks nicer because it's the GBA game remastered on Mario Kart 7. So it just looks cool. If they could recreate the GBA Mario Kart with Mario Kart 7 graphics, dude, that would be phenomenal. But anyways, that is it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next project. Peace out.